What is going on guys? It's Josh just getting logged in here and um, before whenever I was setting up some stuff to uh, smelt iron and uh, get uh, pulverizer and furnace I'm recording I'm gonna turn up I'm actually gonna turn this up a little bit uh, they were Uh, so I was getting the pulverizer and powered furnace running and I heard this it's very unfortunate it took out uh, the vineyard that the villagers set up this was the vineyard and, it, and this took out a big chunk of area it took down a tree let's grab this iron actually <laughs> I guess they're good for that so what we're actually going to do, see if, what kind of meteor this is. It's this a regular meteor. Come on, get something. I know I can get something from these guys. Oh my. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, it looks like a regular one. Yeah. Just got a regular one here. Let's eat real quick. They're cutting down the trees. Um, whoa, lag, lag, lag. Okay, we're back. Oh, and the villagers set up a little trading outpost thing or a market. And here's the tavern that got expanded. I don't know what all I've shown you. So let's go over here. We have actually quite a few more villagers. And I'm going to turn like this because there's something I'm going to show you in a minute. They also built, uh, I don't even know what this is. But right now they need a lot of stone and I'm not giving that to them right now. But here's the village leader. Oh! <laughs> I am now a friend of the village and I can buy houses for them to build me. Which is why I can, and uh, I traded so much that I can now hear, or well, understand what they're saying to a point. So it's very cool. What I did is I just traded bookshelves from one of the Ars, from those Ars Magica uh, dungeon things. I got the books from them and made bookshelves. And bookshelves give you um, a lot. It looks like 38, I don't even know. <laughs> it gives you a lot. Or I think it's the two of the second one and then 38 of the smallest amount. And then you need like three, or no, six of... It's like you need 64 for the second amount, and then you need 64 of the second amount to get to the third amount. And you need six of the third amount to be like a super friend. So let's go over here and I'm going to show you what I've done. Ba -da -da -da. It's not the best house ever, but it does work. And I tried to make the roof kind of conform to the roofs of the village, so it kind of blends in. But there are some things I don't like about the village roofs, like how it cuts off right there. So I just prettied it up a little bit. In my opinion, it's a little bit more pretty. So let's go in here. And right now... I don't have any obsidian plates, so I'm doing that so monsters can't get in. And I set this up, pulverizer, powered furnace combo. We got the hobby of steam engines back here. And here we go. And this is first batch. Um, let's actually throw that in the pulverizer and get one of these engines going. So first we need to make an anvil, because remember the whole point of this was to get the... Um, what are they called? The self touch on my diamond and pickaxe so we can get more diamonds. So let's go. Uh, what's. What am I looking for? Anvil. Anvil. Okay. So we need three blocks of iron and then four iron ingots. So this should definitely be enough. Okay, we got that. And there we go. Anvil. Put that back in there. 
and we're gonna go grab the silk touch book and the diamonds. Let's go do that. Also gotten some more, all right, cut down one of the rubber trees and got two saplings, so planted those again. And I got a lot of wood from my wood farm. Um, all right, diamonds. There's the diamonds. There should be two sticks in there. Is that it? Oh, silk touch book. That's what I need. I already missed it, didn't I? I'm being yelled at in the comments. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go in here. And there's a reason I didn't put windows on every wall. And I'll kind of explain that now. If you put it on every wall, then you don't really have much room to hire wiring. So I've specifically made sure that this wall, whole wall was covered because there's a mountain right next to it so we can make dirt go there and kind of hide wiring very easily. And uh, over here, I think I'm gonna have some other areas like maybe a Tinker's Construct or Ars Magica or Thaumcraft or something and have machines over here because it's going to be easier to conceal wiring. And whenever I get applied energistics going, I will um, run it over here too. I'll just probably replace one of these logs, or I'll just, um, no, I can just put like a access terminal right here, and then dig under and put the cable up to it, and it should all work out wonderfully. Uh, and then I have a back door, and I think I'm going to have a animal farm back there. Okay, right. so where do we want the anvil? Hmm. I don't even know if you can break an anvil. We'll put it right there. Oh, we need to make a pick first. Okay, put that in. And silk touch. Let's name this. Silky. Silky. Alright. Now let's go get those diamonds. Okay, the sun's kind of setting. We'll go get the diamonds and then we can pulverize and smelt and it will be all good. I should not be using that right now. <laughs> And then I also need obsidian because I want to get to the nether soon to get ender tanks because if you haven't noticed, over there I have oil heaven marked. I did some exploring off camera because of wanting to get cactus green for the waterproof pipes and I wasn't able to find cactuses after all. So I decided just to make a minium stone and transmute some flowers. So I, when I went exploring, I landmarked all the places that are cool. So over there, that was like a village and uh, I think it's a Thaumcraft like wisp area. So I didn't take anything from there. I had a full inventory. Uh, then there's an open Tha uh, Ars Magica maze, a village with bees I already cleared out of the bees. And then oil heaven. And you guys will probably see what that's about. Okay, here we go. Let's get... We got that. I wonder what happens if you smelt uranium. Uranium. Let's see what we can do with that. Probably not. All right, there we go. Compress it. Oh, that's it. Okay. So not really worth it. I was wondering what you could get if you silk touched it. Okay. Now back to the top. Oh. Also, I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack, just so you know. Love this texture pack, been using it for a long, 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 long time. It's one of my favorite. Oh, also, we need to go to the Nether to get Cobalt and Ardite. Specifically Cobalt, because there's a really good pick you can make. It's a Manilium, um, Handle, Cobalt Head, and Paper Binding. So it gives you four modifiers and, um, what's the words I'm looking for? 
It gives you four modifiers, which is really nice. And then you have 11 mining speed, and you have 2,500 durability right off the bat. It's really nice. Okay. Pulverized ferrous metal. Okay, diamonds go in. Da da. Two. Four. And six. There we go. Wonderful. Um. Oh yeah, let's put the ferrous back in there. Okay, now let's go put these in the chest. I also need to come up with a chest room until I get applied energistics. So that could be one of those side rooms. Not a bad idea. Okay, what we need to do this is that meteor got me thinking about it. So we're gonna do at mod dot is it meteor? That's hmm. what's what am I looking for? We'll go to mod and then is it falling meteors? Yeah. Okay. Um, it should do it. All right, there we go. So what we need? Not a meter timer or that. Where is it? Meteor shield. Okay, so three meteor chips, cobblestone, and redstone. So I have cobblestone, I have the meteor chips. And here we go, meteor shield. <laughs> We're covered. All right, let's take, do I have any sticks? About to make some. So really, I only need one set of those because I can just pick them back up again. So I think first thing should be to get the base covered so that way we don't have anything destroying our base. That would probably be a good idea. Okay, so if we go like that, meteor shield charging, huh. I'm not very familiar with uh, meteor craft. Okay, right, so. Oh! You can't pick them up. That sucks. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, guys, I got it figured out. I kind of know what I'm doing now. So let's come back in here and take a look. Alright, okay, so right now, it charged and it's at. 30% I believe. What we need is these red meteor gems, which actually come from falling meteors. So right now, I wonder, okay, we're protected right there. What about over here? Yes, we're protected. What about here? Yeah. Okay. We're actually going to take one of these, get some more of these protected land tester things. I wish these dropped, that would be so helpful. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over to this side and we're protected. I'm gonna make sure that we're protected all around the house. Yeah, we're gonna be protected everywhere. So this is magnificent. Now I wonder how far this goes. So we're going to actually, let's come over here. Go one, two, three, four. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, we're just gonna go straight out and we'll put one right here. All right, so we're protected here. Let's go on the, I'm gonna get up here. Screw walls. Who needs them? Alright. So we're gonna go right there. Just wanna make sure I stay on the right side. Wow. 
this is a big area. Um, let's do another four. Let's just go up to here. Whoa. Um, let's see, all the way over here? Nope. What about here? No. And no. <laughs> so we got a pretty big distance. I'll probably, I'll probably want to make another one. And we do have enough to make another one. Oh, wrong button. Um, we need that there, and then hit C. We'll make another one of these guys. And we will actually, since these have such a big radius, we're going to put one in the very center of the town and hopefully that will cover the whole town. So let's go down. Meteor shield charging. Now there's supposed to be some really cool effect. I don't know. I'm gonna put a torch right there so I know where it is. Okay. We Romans can be really proud of what we have achieved. Well, I did bring you most of the materials, so you're welcome. Okay, I think it's about time to end. I know these episodes seem short, they kind of are. I don't know whether to make them longer or what. What you guys would want to see. I want to make sure you're not bored watching. But uh, I guess if you guys want to see longer episodes, then I leave that in the comment section and I'll be sure to do that because I don't know what you want to see. I just want to make sure you guys stay interested. And let's actually get this one. I don't want it him to be stuck there. And let's put our plank back. And hopefully we're protected now for a while. At least the meteors only fall during the night. So as long as I sleep every night, I should be good. And we should not have a problem with the house getting blown up. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for next time. And I have no idea what we'll be doing next time. Maybe working on a power system underneath the base. That might be a good idea. Or getting some obsidian to get nether stuff and such. Although I might want some power first. So we can... Uh, get a jetpack to go around the nether because I know that Tinker's Construct makes the nether literally hell. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next episode. Goodbye.